hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to parse uh, XML file with the help of Visual C++ Windows form application so right now I have this XML file and in this I have some data so I, I think if you are watching this video you already know what are XML files so I just want to show that this is a list of breakfast menu and it has some food data so for example food Belgian waffles its price and its description and then how much calorie it contain and then the other breakfast name and the price and description and calories so this is the root breakfast menu is the root and this is the elements and this inside the elements this is the text right if I'm not mistaken so I want to pass this data I want to list out all the elements this and all the text which it contains so let's see how I have done I have made a program I have taken a list box 1 and list box 2 in list box 2 I am going to list out the elements and in list box 1 I am going to list out the texts which the elements contain so I will choose the XML file and when I select the XML file you see all the value of elements like food name price description comes here and all the text of these elements come here so food name is Belgian waffle and price is 5.95 and description is this so let's see what how I have done that so I have taken two list box for that list box 1 and list box 2 and name I have left the default which is list box 1 and list box 2 I have taken a button to choose a file dialog and I will choose the path of uh, the file by clicking this button and then pass the XML file and show into these list boxes so now what I will do I will double click this button so I will go to the event of this button click for XML pass and here, here I have written the code for that the first line is for opening the file dialog so this is the declaration of open file dialog this is the variable name is equal to gc new open file dialog and if the path is correct so I will write if open file dialog which is this arrow pointer show dialog is equal to system double colon windows double colon forms double colon result dialog double colon ok so if the path in the dialog is ok then I will go to pass the XML file and then I declare XML text reader is equal to X reader this is the variable name is equal to GC new XML text reader and I will pass the path of the file into the XML reader which is this variable here okay and then I have made a while loop while X reader continues 
reading so x reader arrow pointer read bracket bracket close and in the while loop i have provided two cases by switch conditions so make a switch condition and in the switch condition i will i am reading the node types so x reader arrow pointer node type in the case 1 if the node type is the element then it will print the values into the list box 2 and if it's a text it will list out the value in the text uh, list box 1 so write case xml node type is equal to element or a double colon element this is the case then list box arrow pointer items arrow pointer add all the names so x reader which is our this variable arrow pointer name so all the names of the element will be printed in the list box 2 and in case 2 xml type node type is equal double colon text then the values will come in list box 1 so list box 1 arrow pointer items arrow pointer add x reader arrow pointer values so write this and then after your while loop is complete and your switch conditions are complete and you need to close this reader so x reader arrow pointer close so this is the code for parsing this xml file so if you want to copy the code just pause the video and just copy the code from here okay and now when I run my program and I will select a XML file obviously and all the elements comes on the list box 2 and all the text will come in list box 1 so in this way you can pass the XML files as you know XML file contains data which can be very useful for our application so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now